Hey YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's time once again for my monthly thrift store score video. And today, we'll take a look at my thrift store haul from April of 2019. Let's start off today with books and magazines. Got another one from my Charlie Brown book collection, 1977's How Long, Great Pumpkin, How Long? Ugh! I also got Wonder Woman, The Complete History. I remember my sister had this utility belt set back in the late 70s. We watched it on TV all the time. Wonder Woman! Got a 1978 issue of Whitman's Woody Woodpecker. My favorite thing in here is probably the ad for these Star Wars watches. I also got a 1974 issue of Photoplay. Cher took our little girl to Sex Den. Ooh, how kinky. And another issue from three years later, by which time Elvis was no longer with us. Man, this Mattel toy catalog in this center is really taking me back, though. Hello. Hi. Hi. And speaking of taking me back, I got a 1979 issue of Dynamite magazine, and it's a great one. It includes an article on the film Meteor. Talk about a disaster. It only made back about half of the $16 million that it cost to make. Damn! All right, let's move on to the category of miscellaneous. I got a magnet from the Hers Pretzels Visitor Center in Nottingham, Pennsylvania, and a magnet that's a can of Kroger Crispy and Sweet Golden Corn. That's why folks call it thing looking good. Erasers of a football, catcher spit, ice cream cone, and R2-D2. <coughs> a strawberry-scented Valentine Smensel, a 1983 West Virginia mine electric sticker, some Avengers puffy stickers, and this still-sealed pack of 1975 Hallmark Joan Walsh Anglin paper doll stickers. I always thought it was strange that they didn't have any noses or mouths. How do they breathe? Gills? I got a new 2018 Aquaman pin, and this vintage pin featuring Snuggle the Fabric Softener Bear. <laughs> Hi! I'm Snuggle! And I got this Scorpio necklace. That's my sign, baby. Oh, yeah. Here's a solid bronze Tower of London commemorative coin. It's from 1985. I also got a Guardian Angel token, and this token from the Ohio-based country boy and country gal Country Kitchen. <laughs> Found a Garfield soccer player keychain without the chain and a Pez dispenser of Garfield's girlfriend Arlene, plus five different Sanrio Hello Kitty Pez dispensers. Wow, a never opened package of 1988 Jim Henson's Muppets tissues. That's rare. I found an old bag from Camelot Movies. I used to shop at Camelot Music, but I don't remember Camelot Movies. Maybe somebody out there knows if it was a separate store. And I found a 1983 Pat Benatar fan club newsletter. Date of birth, January 10th. Sign, Capricorn. Place of birth, Brooklyn, New York. Grew up in Long Island, New York, and now lives in Los Angeles, California. Favorite food? Ice cream, but likes Italian food in general. Favorite colors? Pink and black. Likes to cook. Pets? Four. Two dogs and two cats. Marital status? Married. Aww. Now let's check out my video scores. Got some more DVDs. Got volume one of one of my favorite 70s cartoons, Scooby's All-Star Laugh Olympics. And I got some old Casper cartoons, Doogie Howser season one, The Blue and the Gray, Big, Guyana Crime of the Century, Darling Lily, Newt Rockney, With a Song in My Heart, Glorifying the American Girl, Jay Edgar, and 300 Rise of an Empire. Plus I got Rhinestone, a Jackie Chan Bruce Lee double feature, The Fugitive, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Lost in La Mancha, Frank Zappa's The Dub Room Special, R.I.P. Bruce Bickford, Amelie, Rollerball, and the special edition of Dogma. Snoochie Boochies. Snoochie Boochies. And I got five new Blu-rays, Contagion, The Ides of March, Clash of the Titans, The A-Team, and It. Time to move on now from video to audio. Only one cassette this month, Cindy Lauper's True Colors. I got four CDs by the Donnas, Johnny Cash, PDQ Bach, and Dr. Hook and the Medicine Show. 
And I scored big this month on vinyl records. I got 27 of them. I got Black Sabbath, Master of Reality, Queen's The Miracle, and Ricky Lee Jones' The Magazine. Chris Squire's Fish Out of Water, and every other member is represented on Anderson, Bruford, Wakeman, Howe. I got one of the only early Peter Gaber albums I still needed, plus two albums by The Faces, this 1980 compilation record, and the classic Ooh La La. So baby, come with me and be my Ooh La La. Speaking of Ooh La La, here's Peter Brown's Do You Want to Get Funky With Me, censored for your frustration. And I got 12-inch singles by Sheila E., Merlin, Blondie, and The Fix. I also got The Fix's fourth album, Walkabout, and the debut albums by Billy Idol and A Flock of Seagulls. And The Story of a Young Heart by A Flock of Seagulls, Life's Too Good by The Sugar Cubes, and two Sugar Cubes 12-inch singles. Wall of Voodoo's Called the West, and a 12-inch of their hit Mexican Radio. Two LPs by The Art of Noise, Invisible Silence, and In No Sense Nonsense, and four by Gary Newman. I got I Assassin, Dance, the first Two Boy Army album, and the classic Replicas. Best vinyl haul that I've ever had. That brings us to our final category, Toys and Games. I found two more cartridges for the Fisher-Price Movie Viewer, but the wonderful thing is that I also found the Movie Viewer itself. Now I can enjoy watching these films in my own home. I also got four Fisher-Price Little People, two roosters, a dog, a suitcase, and all of these vehicles. A helicopter, an ambulance, a tricycle, a go-kart, a hobby horse, a fuel truck, an airplane tram, zoo train, farm cart, truck and boat trailer, and this super stylin' minivan. <coughs> As usual, I got a bunch of small toys and figures. Two Mighty Beans, a robot, Ghostbuster, a pair of aliens, and a gorilla. A trash can with 10 trash packs and a small pair of binoculars. I remember my sister had these in the 80s as a Barbie accessory. I got a Mickey Mouse Shrinky Dink, a Donald Duck in a larger size than the one I had, a Raggedy Andy, a Bert, a 1984 Couch Patch Kids figure, and five 1988 California Raisins. Got Roller Skater Raisin, Skateboarder Raisin, Trumpeter Raisin, Beatbox Raisin, and Guitarist Raisin. Excellent! Plus a Hot Wheels Diecast Y-Wing and a 2002 Gunship Pilot figure. These aren't the droids we're looking for. Only got a couple video games this month. Not often at all that I find Atari cartridges, but I found Space Invaders, and I actually didn't have this variation with just text and no art. I also got Super Smash Bros. Brawl for the Wii. I also got a wonderful keychain. Well, it would be a lot more wonderful if I could solve the damn thing. <laughs> And I picked up a Pyramid Speed Cube. This will have to do until I find a vintage Pyraminx puzzle. After almost 40 years, I finally did find a Milton Bradley Pocket Simon. I wanted this when I was 10, but instead I got an Atari Touch Me, which was almost as good. I found one Pog, and it's poison! And I was really excited to get this 1972 EduCards Memory Match Bozo card game. That is wild. And I got some trading cards. Gaming cards. An Overpower card, a Monster Rancher card, a Dragon Ball Z card, and 49 Pokemon cards. Plus one 1999 Pokemon sticker. And three Topps Wide Vision Clone Wars cards. A couple sealed packs of Tech Deck Dudes cards. Two It's a Wonderful Life cards. Four 2009 Mario Kart Wii cards. And four Natural and Human World cards. One hundred and twenty Harley Davidson cards, almost every card of Series Two, and a couple American Vintage Cycles cards. A 
also got one racing card, an eight Corvette cards, a 1991 Nolan Ryan card from Jimmy Dean Sausage, two 1992 Snickers Olympics cards, a Diamond King puzzle card, two 1990 Upper Deck hologram stickers, and one 1988 Don Russ Awesome All-Stars card. <laughs> And I got an X-Men card and an Empower card, but I was too excited to find these 22 Topps Grease cards from 1978. Peachy keen, Jelly Bean. And now it's time for the find of the month. 13 sealed packs of Batman Returns trading cards from 1991. Let's open up a pack and check them out. My cards in this pack include Introducing the Penguin, Sultan of the Sewers, Cycling Psychos, Burn Baby Burn, and Vengeance is Hers. Over half of what I spent this month was just on the records, but I still got everything that you saw in this video for about $32. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my thrift store haul from April of 2019. And if you did, don't forget to click on that like button down below. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube. So, baby, come with me and be my ooh-la-la. -la.